Probably just over halfway. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yep. There were some people leaving our mooring at the same time as us, and they were going to do three locks, but they couldn't get on the water point, so I think they're coming all the way with us now. Yep. Uh, this last section is fairly windy. Um, I'm not sure which lock we passed through most recently, but it's the fourth lock out of Leicester, and uh, it's got some nice little sort of countryside and everything, and some sort of recreation centers and stuff. But it's just lots of little serpentine turns. So. And windy. And very windy. Me and George have been riding the entire way since the first lock, but we're going to get off at the next lock and walk the rest. Tree. <laughs> the rest of the way. More tree. Into Leicester. <laughs> oh my fault. Oh, back right in the Problem. We found the secure moorings in Leicester. Michael's on that side of the river and I'm on this side. So, well, with George, me and George are on this side, so we're going to have to walk up and try and get over there now. It's 3.30 and we've got here a good couple of hours before I predicted, so that's good. Which is probably down to the fact that we had a boat leave our mooring at the same time and come all the way with us so and also because it's not really that far like i don't know why it said that many hours it said five and a half and to be fair we left it we left at 10 so it's taken us five and a half hours it's just usually when it says five and a half it takes us 
like way longer. Or yeah. seven. Normally it's like get to the lock, you know, sort of around twenty minutes or whatever. Yeah. But the reality is, is all these locks build pretty fast. And just they the were all pretty smooth. Just the fact that there's two boats it does make life easier. There's more, more people helping out. They were really nice, and um, it was really funny because when we were leaving you just got chatting to him and he said he was going to be another 10 minutes and he wanted to get diesel before the first lock and I was a bit like oh I don't know if I want to wait because we're already leaving like an hour after I wanted and that's a long way to go yeah so I kind of thought oh should we but then it's that's ridiculous because at the time we thought he was on his own and if we had gone up without him for the sake of 15 minutes every lock for him would have been against him so it would have just been really mean if we hadn't. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it worked out really well because he was originally only going to go uh, three locks to the water point, but there was a couple of boats that had moored up on the water point so that they could go to the pub, probably. And so there was no room for him to get in, so he just continued along and followed us up. And I think he probably thought, oh, it's easy going with another boat as well, so he might as well make so the most well of it. might as well make it all the way to Leicester. So yeah, and pulled into town, everything went kind of industrial. Lots there, of there was, rubbish in the canal. Less, um, news and everything at the early point. Yeah, it's quite funny because the first half of the cruise was like so like countryfied and yeah and like green and then it just kind of happened. I think it was in, when I was inside making lunch I came back out and I was like oh <laughs> we're in the city now. Yeah it seems pretty interesting there's some obvious re development. redevelopment going on right where we are. Um, these moorings are apparently new they don't show up on our map I think. And it looks like there's another set back there that oh, is, there. is being created but isn't finished yet. So didn't you um, read that this was like the most polluted part of the system? Yeah, I was reading that Leicester was at one point the waters had gone black because of um, well, basically dye like runoff from um, um, various mills and textile manufacturing companies. Because this whole area was very heavily involved in textiles. And there's lot, like, I haven't walked far, but there's lots of nods to that kind of around the place. Yeah. Yeah, and we have had a few warnings about not to moor in Leicester and to avoid it and just to go straight through. But at the same time, the people who've actually gone through it have all said it's fine. Yeah, so it will be interesting to see what we think when we leave. Yeah. <laughs> we were also told about another mooring a little bit further on, which we potentially might move to tomorrow, but it's full at the moment. And um, this is fine. So tomorrow I'm probably doing the Space Center. And how excited are you? I'm pretty excited, except for I'm so thoroughly, like, Full of snot. chest coffee and snotty and everything that at the moment I feel like all I'm going to do is lie in bed. But if somebody lets me see some rocketry, you it might, know, it might perk you up a bit. Might perk me up a bit. <laughs> Should we put you to bed now? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I'm going to be accused of man flu, I know. So, we might put in some footage of Michael's trip to the space station here, but we might not. Not space station. <laughs> if only. I'm off to the ISS. It turns out, among other things, I'm Major Tom. <laughs> no. So um, we might insert footage of Michael's trip to the space center. Space center. Not station. National space center. It's, it's a place which is educating about space. It is not a place in which you are in space. <laughs> Although, technically, we are in space, but it's complicated. <laughs> National Space Center in Lesser. I've made the 30 minute walk up here in what can only be described as progressively more torrential rain. Uh, so that I can go explore what we have in Lesser of the final frontier, or my favorite frontier. It's a tall and skinny building because there's tall and skinny rockets inside of it apparently, so I'm looking forward to this. So I worked on Thor. That is a Thor. Uh, back to me, and in for it. So I'm at the Abbey Pumping Station and Technology Museum here in Leicester. Um, that would be the Victorian era pumping station. This was used apparently for sewage pumping, so I'm standing in kind of the smelliest part of the entire place. <clears throat> but I'm so stuffed up now, I can't even get a hint of it, so I think it's perfect. Um, back here is one of three surviving steam shovels of enormous size, and that's the Space Museum. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to walk around and take a look. So these are two of the four um, beam engines that were used in the Abbey Pumping Station to pump sewage. From 1891 to 1964. Um, 
one of these guys at least would have been running pretty much continuously. We could have switched them off to maintain them and everything, but there are four engines total, two more behind me. Apparently they would only very rarely have run all four. But you can see the you know, just sort of amazing detail put into these places like this was this was a feat of engineering and it was quite an aesthetically pleasing place considering what it was doing was moving large amounts of poop. You know, that's um, kind of interesting to think that this is really a massive two full story bronze and iron copper uh, pump out system for one hell of a toilet. <laughs>just does not happen where I'm from in the United States is you know you walk past some lovely water and a weir and also not very common in the United States but the really weird part you know, it's just so neat I'm walking over the National Space Museum I'm going along the waterfront there's some beautiful swans nesting all that sort of thing and a 12th century abbey wall in the middle of being reinforced just because that's a thing that's just dotted around random archaeological site, the Abbey in Leicester, or what remains of its infirmary. It's just fascinating what you find later. Uh, Thanks for watching. Like, click, thumbs, thing, comment. I think we need to Subscribe, send serious quantities of... Love? Pseudoephedrine. I'm gonna lean this way to make it look stronger. <laughs> we're all skewy, but we're too tired to straighten the camera, so. Ain't that for sure. <gasps> we're not parallel to, no, perpendicular to not reality. Perfect. Reality's not perpendicular to us. And the thing is vibrating a lot. What's the time? I have no idea. I think it's about three or four. Hold on. <clears throat> It is 1,524 hours. Michael doesn't speak, speak 24 1524, it's 324. You've learned it. I've known it since I was a kid. I just think it's silly. It look, Michael doesn't know what half three is. No, that doesn't make any sense. Is that 2.30 or is it 3.30? Is it half two, three or half past three? That's why you, you, you must clarify the ambiguity by saying half past three. The past is implied. No, because it could be half two, three. No, everyone knows it's past. The very fact that I'm debating this means no, everyone does not. Everyone that's born and bred. Oh, well, I'm not sure what you're doing inside of a sandwich, but fair enough. Why were you born and bred? Born and bred in England. Ah. Uh, so how can you be both born and bred? You were born and brought up. Oh, right. Okay. One of the most polluted parts. That thing's vibrating right now. Thank you, Hat Ribbon. My left eye's been watering all day, my sinister eye. And, um... Your sinister eye? Yeah, rectus and sinister, Latin for left and... Or right and left. Um... Anyway. Rectus? Yes. <laughs> Means right. Correct. We get the word correct from rectus. And we get the word sinister from left. Turns out sinister literally just means left. It doesn't mean anything dark or sinister. So people who are left-handed are sinister? Yes. Well, they use the sinister hand. But over the years, we've associated the word sinister with the devil and everything because the devil was at the left hand of Jesus. It's, it's complicated. Every day's a school day with Michael. Every day's a school day. So, 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 so snotty. Hi-ho. Kermit the Frog here. Maybe not. Uh, like... Yes. Welcome to the Nova Rampage. <laughs> Wait, I finish Fasten your seatbelts from the way. To Scotland. To Scotland by Canel Boot. Why not? He's not? Michael's delirious now, so we just Yeah, it's, it's 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 the, it's the decongestant I'm, I'm losing. So <laughs> continuity. Don't continuity here. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.